Okanaganers, we are giving away a set of rims coated courtesy of our good friends at Calver. I watch Hello Okanagan from Kelowna. Hey guys, t-shirts, mugs, all of our merch, we deliver anywhere, so click the link below. Hello Okanagan, welcome to another episode of Hello Okanagan, and if you guys have not subscribed to our channel, please make sure you do that and leave a like on this video and previous videos. It really, really helps us out for all of our future content. Peter, where are we today and what are we doing? We're gonna have a lot of fun today. We're at Kelver Coatings. We're gonna powder coat today. Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Hello Okanagan. By the way, we're done our track. All you guys that wanted to hear our theme song, it's done, so stay tuned. We're gonna let you know where you can hear it and find a lyric video eventually. So we're here at Kelver Coatings. It's some really cool stuff that you can do with your boat, your car, your rims, your motorcycle, some really cool stuff that we're gonna check out. So we're here with one of the partners of Kelver Coatings. Kyle, how are you, my friend? Doing great, how are you? Awesome, man, thanks for inviting us down here. So I wanted to find out first before we find out what powder coating actually is. Um, tell us about the business. When did you start this business, and how did you come up with the name? So we're pretty new. We uh, we started up, and COVID threw a significant wrench into the the whole business startup. So it was quite a long startup, but we've been in full operation for about six months now. The name itself, we went through a lot of different names, and it actually is. Kelowna and Vernon, the first three letters of both. Oh my God, it is. So that's actually what it is. We knew that we were gonna be pulling lots of business out of Kelowna. Sweet. So that's what it ended up being. We thought it was a clever name. Most people don't know that. But now well, you now do. we do. And there the cool thing is, hello Okanagan. We're an Okanagan show. So these guys are throughout the Okanagan as well. That's really, really cool. Awesome. So what what made you guys want to, to get into this industry? Did you, see a, did you see a white space that nobody else was doing? Like, where did this idea come from? Yeah, we found that there was just a huge hole in the market, is that powder coating is always like industrial. It seems like everybody just focuses on the industrial, the fencing and the railings. And uh, an amazing application for it is the custom cars, the motorcycles, even these high-end boats and stuff like that. So it, it was just this big hole and we, we knew that there was, there was lots of that stuff in the valley. So why don't you take us around and show us some of the stuff that you guys actually can powder coat. Absolutely. So we got a couple of really cool looking rims here and some exhaust. Um, let us know, like, what was the process? Like, what was this before it was this color? So this was actually a brand new set of wheels. The customer wanted this really bizarre, what's called a vein. And it actually has, if you look at it in the light, it actually has a teal tinge to it. So this is actually just a single stage and then you put a clear coat over it and it creates this, this amazing, this pattern and even like teal, when, it, when the sun will hit it, it'll actually show up in a teal color. This is some more wheels. This is a, uh, actually a, a metallic base and a transparent lime green over top of it and then a, then a bronze here. So bronze has been a really popular color for us. So, like this is one of my favorite motorcycles. What did you do to this beast? So this one here, we changed the wheels, we changed the handlebars, the uh, the levers, a bunch of little pieces, even the front fender. So these were like a like a flat black and even a textured black in the wheels. So we did this transparent copper color and actually a high gloss black. We do lots of this high gloss black. And uh, this is some different colors that you guys do, right? Is this all of the colors or just like kind of not scratching even, the surface? Not even close. We have 10,000 colors and that includes candies and metallics and multi-stage powders. That's, that's the smallest bit of sample there. One thing that's catching my eye is this, uh, this little unit right here. Why don't yeah. you tell us a little bit about this? What is that? This cute little turbo is, uh, it has quite a few different products on it. 
So the front of it is actually a illusion red powder coat. And then the center and the rear section is uh, just two different colors of the high temp ceramic coating. So this, is, this would be a complete finished product with, with powder and ceramic coating. Would you say is the weirdest thing that you've, or the strangest thing that you've powder coated? I think a good example of that actually is these fishing lures. So it, it wasn't something that we ever had in mind. We knew that we were gonna do big to small pieces, didn't know that they were gonna be quite this small, but we hang sometimes over 500 of these, these little fishing lures here. Um, and we actually do full production for a fishing lure company. So lots of, lots of really heavy metallics and even some like chameleon colors and stuff like that, like color changing. All right, now we're getting straight into the technical side of things. So, Corey, thank you for joining us today. And uh, let's, get, let's get straight into the technical side. Yeah. So what is powder coating and why do people do it? So simply powder coating is a super durable dry uh, paint application essentially that is used through um, electrostatic charge. And we can powder coat pretty much anything that's metal and it just creates such a beautiful finish that uh, it will last for years, 10, 15, 20 years at times. So Corey, you were saying something about um, previous before we started filming. One powder coating is equivalent to five times painting the same product or something like that? Yeah, so basically the, the thickness of powder is significantly thicker than traditional paint. So with that, it actually creates a more durable finish and that just helps protect everything for long periods of time. So you've got a rim in there, I think, that's waiting for us. So we're gonna show our viewers the, the process. Yes, we are gonna do a really cool finish on this one for you today. Well, let's go. Okay. And now, an Okanagan update with Elizabeth Flowers. Hello Okanagan, I'm Elizabeth Flowers and here's your Okanagan update. With spring break upon us, you might be wondering, what am I supposed to do with my kids? Well, right now, from Monday, March 22nd until Thursday, March 25th, there is a fun spring break experience that they can go in if they're interested in gymnastics, becoming a ninja warrior, or exploring the world of parkour. So visit KelownaGymnastics.ca for more information on how you can get your kids involved in some fun spring break camps over the next week. And I'm also sitting here right now at the Laurel Square outside the Laurel Packing House, where on Saturday, March 27th at 10 a.m., they're gonna have a Born to be Wild Make a Mason Bee Home. You might be wondering, what is a mason bee? For me, I thought like they meant the mason jar, and that's what the bee would live in. But a mason bee is actually one kind of bee that lives here in the Okanagan. A lot of people immediately think of the honey bee, but there's actually over 400 different kinds of bees that live here, right here in the Okanagan. So Saturday, March 27th at 10 a.m. is drop-in by donation. You're gonna wanna bring a one liter milk carton to make your home for the bee. So this is an example. And if you're looking for more information, you can contact Jen Garner. She is the head of programming. You can email her at education at cloningmuseums.ca or call at 250-868-4836. So stop on by Saturday, March 27th at 10 a.m. and learn all about the wild bee diversity here in the Okanagan and some super pollinators. And with March uh, comes the nice warmer weather, so keep your eye open. Golf courses are gonna be opening up any day now. And there's still the rain barrel sale and the composter sale that's taking place at the regional district. So visit rdco.com for more information. That's all for this week's Okanagan Update. And now we'll go back to the episode. So as you can see, we're getting ready here to do some powder coating. Jason, how's it going? Good. It's so great. you're you're gonna put us through the process of this rim here. What's the first step that we have to do? Well, the first step was obviously all the, the prep and getting the material, the rim ready for the powder coating so it was all sandblasted and cleaned properly. 
um, and then it went into the oven for an outgassing session, which basically draws any oils that's deep penetrated in the metal and moisture out of the rim. Okay. And then what we have here, uh, the only process that you haven't seen was I basically coated a primer on it and that seals it. We usually do that immediately after the outgassing um, because it doesn't have time to be exposed to the elements as raw metal yeah. to collect any contaminants or corrosion. So this is going to be like a 45 second process you said? Pretty much for me to put the first uh, coat down. Uh, and then it goes into the oven right after that? Yes, for a baking cycle, okay. which is also selected uh, depending on the type of product that you're using. What color are we going to go with on this today? Uh, this rim, uh, we're actually doing a specialty color which is called an Illusion Purple. And it actually does this mind-blowing drastic change. Um, I will basically put it on and it's just going to kind of look like a kind of a violet silver and it'll go in for its first curing session. And when it comes out, it's actually gonna look like a metal, awesome. which is really crazy. Well, let's get going, let's do it. Is the other one still in there? Or? No, it's the same one. This is the only one that's the one we coated. But it was purple. Remember I told you this stuff does the mind blowing trick to you? Well, it's not done. It's mind blown. Like this is just going to be silver then now? We're, we're going to apply a clear coat now. Yep. And when it comes out, it's going to be something completely different from what you see now. So what is the desired color? Right now we're hoping to see purple. Okay. Purple? That's what we're hoping. This is gonna, like Barney. Yep. Like this is gonna go purple. Yep. When I originally sprayed it down, it was purple. Now it looks, is it just, is it one of those tricks on the social media? Is this a distress purple or distress silver? Like, this it is could nuts. be that. I'm, I'm actually convinced the real one is still in there and they're just, they're messing with they're us. They're screwing right now. with yeah. us. Yeah. Get up close to it. Okay, you guys good? Uh, well, can you guys come a little bit closer? Joe okay, I'll, I'll get it. Get it. Get it. So there's no illusion here. We've been watching with our own eyes. We saw it go from different stages and you guys saw on camera, it was white when we put it in the oven. Let's see what it looks like now.
All right, hello Okanaganers. If you want your rims coated, just like we did in the episode here with Caliber Coatings, you guys can have a chance to win. How do they win, Peter? Make sure you jump onto our social media right now. Hello Okanagan on Instagram and Facebook and check out Tuesday's post.